You can start. Start? How many? Five. Okay. Five. For you, it's enough. Do it good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Better is the best place to play daily fantasy. Whoa! 300X lineups are back in the Better app. The biggest multipliers out there. Turn $10 into $3,000 and so on. NBA, NHL, MLB, NFL are on the Better app. Play now and use code SHMO. This is the Schmo with the pro. He's 12 and 2. He has three performance bonuses in his last four fights. He's the number eighth ranked UFC middleweight. Roman Delize in the flesh. UFC Vegas 85. How we doing? I'm feeling good. Cutting weight. Uh, I was th thinking that it will be harder, but today I'm in a good mood. Yeah, you were kind of bored over here. You called the schmo over. You said, let's do the interview right now. We're cutting weight. We got nothing else to do. Yeah, you're right. But schmo was a little bit late. We punished him a little bit. He made little bit push-ups, but now he's good. I thought it was burpees. No, it was push-ups. Okay. You, you want to do burpees? Yeah. Okay, after, after we will do burpees. Okay, we can do some burpees after that, but talk to the schmo for a second. You're facing number 11th ranked. Hey, on off, man. Nazar Dean, what does this victory do for you? Why are you taking this fight? It's not about what fight I take or not. I have just uh, uh, a couple of things for us you to do is, is new contract and many events. And I said I will fight anybody, I don't care. They will try to match up me with uh, Branson. He pulled out Jared Kananir. He pulled out. That's why I just have a few things what they, I asked them to do. And I didn't care who will be opponent. Cannoneer was supposed to be in December, and then he tore that MCL? Yeah. I, I don't know what's happened with him, but the uh, fight was canceled. Yeah. Well, the Schmo saw him. He had torn his MCL. Maybe, maybe you know better. If you saw him, you probably know him. 13 weeks post-op from the MCL procedure. <clears throat> Beastin'. Yeah. yeah. But here we are. You know, we got the Apex fight. And we got a big-time fight for you, man. What do you think a victory over him does for you? Mm, I think, you know, if we'll remember the Strickland situation, he won Imamov after he won another not-ranked guy, and he got a title fight. That's why everything can happen, especially now uh, with this situation. Uh, so many champions are changing in a couple, like, one and a half year. Nobody defend his title. That's why anything can happen. Anything can happen, but speaking of anything can happen, we have a new champion. It's not Strickland. It's Drikas yeah. Duplessis. He won in Toronto, UFC 297. Did you see it going that way? Did you score at that fight for DDP? I thought that he was. Uh, he needed to do more to be a champion, but uh, judges score different, and sometimes I don't understand how they score. It's different. So what do you think's next for DDP? Do you think the quick turnaround at UFC 300, he defends the title? Or what do you think's next for him? I think if they will give a fight to Strickland, it also will be fair. If people think that it was like mm, not obvious that he won one that fight, or Jared also is a good opponent because he now don't have opponent. Uh, other guys, everybody are fighting. Uh, Whitaker is fighting, and nobody else. Okay, yeah, Robert Whitaker is fighting Paulo Costa. That's going to be UFC 298 in Anaheim. How do you see that fight going down? Mm, I don't know. I don't really care. You don't care at all. Not at all. Unless one of those winners leapfrogs you in the status for a UFC middleweight title. Yeah, that's different. You know, if uh, when it's uh, something is about me, about my next fight, okay, I'll, I will see. Where do you think Israel Adesanya fits in this equation? I don't know. Oh, also, I forget about him. You know, he's like hiding somewhere. Nobody sees him. And uh, I think also if uh, they will give a fight to Adesanya and second fight, he can fight uh, for belt also if he will win that fight. Why not? I think the place also won to fight him. Yeah. Yeah. That beef. Yeah. I don't know. They talk so much that I'm I'm I don't like this talking machines, but it's their job, it's not me. What about Hamza Chemaev? The last time we saw him compete it was Kamar Usman fighting at short notice going up to the middleweight division. Hamza got the fight. What's next for Hamza? I don't even understand why he got a spot in rankings. 
because you don't deserve you need to be in, in the rankings in middleweight you need to beat some middleweight and especially and ranked middleweights why he's in the rankings i don't understand well, let's start from this i don't know what next for him i would love to uh fight him like because as uh, i like how i always say i want to fight with the best in this uh, organization and in this sport and i always thought that he is one of the best and that's all so with the title shots not next for you, are you going to be calling out Hamza Chemaev inside that octagon and getting your hand raised Saturday evening? No, why not? No, anything anything is possible. I know that if I will look at the situation, I probably need one more fight to fight for title. If it will be Hamza on anybody else, I don't care. Do you think that Kamaru Usman is staying in the middleweight division? Of course, no. I think Kamaru is a very good fighter for 170 and he's doing a lot. And he's doing good there. And no matter, yes, he lost, but that doesn't say nothing. He's a great fighter. And what do you, you hear something that he said that he want to stay in 185? Schmo's not sure what to do. What's next for him? He could do what he wants. He's one of the greats in this sport. He's done it all in welterweight. Okay. Let him decide what he want to do. Well, let's talk about some great Georgian fighters. You guys are representing well. You got Ilya Teporia fighting Volkanovski. Featherweight title on the line. That's headlining UFC 298. What do you think it's going to take to dethrone Volkanovski and become the champion of the featherweight division for Ilya? I think that uh, Il Ilya is young, uh, hungry. Ilya is ready. He has he have a good wrestling power. And it will be a very hard fight for Volkanovski. And we all Georgians, we hope that belt will be our first belt will be soon. And also, don't forget about Merab. That was the next question for the Shmo. Yeah, Merab, Merab is there, and Merab deserves more than anybody to fight for a title. And I hope after this fight, he finally get this chance. They gotta give the winner that fight between him and Henry the title shot. Yeah. I don't think winner. I think Merab. Why Henry? What he did for it. Well, it's been a while since we've seen him compete, but, uh, you know, he was retired and then he... You, uh, and, oh, you know me. I'm respectful. I respect him. It's not about, like, don't respect uh, Henry or something like that. I'm just saying he needs to do more to deserve next title shot. Yeah. That's all. And then there's always a case for Corey Sanhagen, too. Yeah, there are so many things happening. Sometimes I don't know about my division. Now you're asking about this division. That's why I don't know nothing what's happening right well, the Schmo wants to test your rare naked smoke. Let's get a taste of that. Your rare naked choke, your rare naked smoke. Let's test it because, listen, man, I know you're cutting weight, so this is the right time to do it, but it's 2024. The Schmo wants to test the strength of the people he's interviewing. Can we? Okay. Can we always do this. It's a new thing. We're okay. starting with you. Let's go. Let's test this out. Till the end? No. Oh, the schmo heard the crunches on that, that one. squeeze really hard. That was a good one. The power's still there. I thought that I need to do it good, but... You're trying to make the schmo pass out right here. No, I asked you, but you talk. You talk, okay, I'll let you go. I appreciate that. You're a respectful man. Can we get a final message for all the Roman the Leeds A fans out there worldwide before we do the burpees? Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, your support is very important for me, and I'm sure you will enjoy the fight this weekend. How do you get the finish? Um, anything can happen. You know me. I'm predictable. I'm the grappler, world champion grappler, who have submission win but have four knockout win in UFC. That's all what you need to know about. Can be done on the ground or standing. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Las Vegas. We're out. You tired? Schmo doesn't get tired. Okay. It was three. It was three. One more, one more, one more. One more? No. For Schmo Luck? Let's go. Okay. Now we can go home. Appreciate that. Are you going to sign us off? What to do? Sign us off. What's that? You're the pro. I'm the ah, Schmo. Okay. We're out. Okay. I would say you're the pro, I'm the schmo. You're no, the pro, yeah, I'm yeah. the schmo. I'm the pro, he's the schmo. Bye. <laughs>